हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलेट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस इज द पार्ट ट्वेंटी वन ऑफ द यूनिट वाइज कम्प्लीट सिलेबस वाइज प्रिपरेशन फॉर द यू जी सी नेट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस पेपर सो दिस रिलीज द प्रेशर टेल्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट द प्रेशर एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई विल टेल यू दैट यू शुड ज्वाइन द टेलीग्राम एंड इंस्टाग्राम पेज फॉर डेली क्विजेज करेंट अफेयर्स एंड टू एक्सटेंड योर प्रिपरेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो so this is the unit 1 of the ugc net syllabus and today we are going to start the new thing that is the meteorological parameters that includes pressure temperature precipitation but today we are only going to discuss the pressure part so it will be very interesting and this will decrease the pressure from you and it will only discuss the points which you are going to face in the examination so for examination purpose jo important hai aaj hum usko discuss karenge so first thing we should know what is the difference between a weather and a climate most of you will be knowing as we are going to know about the meteorological parameter this is also very important to know so let's start start with the weather so weather is the current state of the atmosphere that is what is happening right now so at a particular place we are observing the weather pattern rainfall temperature so current state at present jo bhi ho raha hai koi bhi place mein use kahenge hum weather of that place but the climate is different obviously so climate is the longer time scale so the average conditions temperature humidity rainfall winds all these other parameters from the meteorological elements over a long period of time determines the climate of a place so you can say there is the longer time scale longer duration ke liye kisi bhi cheez ka hum agar chahiye so we are going for the climate and if we are going for the current state at that present the condition that will be called as weather so let's start with the air pressure so air pressure is what so air pressure is the force exerted by a column of air at a given point so here let us assume there is a point on the earth and here there is a column that is imaginary column so here the amount of force exerted by a column of air at a given point so here the column will be filled with air so that air pressure that force exerted by a column of air at this particular point which we are dealing is known as the air pressure so here i would like to say that it is telling that pressure is equal to force by area which we have learned since our school that is the best formula and many numericals are also coming from this simple formula that is pressure is equal to force exerted on an area so this is the definition of air pressure also now coming to the warm air so warm air what happens the temperature the air temperature when it is warm jo ki thoda hot hota hai that expands or it rises and what it leaves it leaves behind the low pressure of that region yes for example here at point a the air is warm in nature so what it will do it will rise above that area and what it will leave it will leave behind here the condition will be low pressure because the warm air has risen above that particular place similarly cold air what cold air will do cold air will sink that is called as sinking air that means if some area is having the cold air it will sink it will not move up it will be there itself and it leaves an area of high pressure so from the place where there is cold air it will leave the area of high pressure so this is the basic difference you should know because the questions are asked in twist and turns about this and one most important thing you should note is that the higher the altitude the lower the pressure you should know that whenever we are going to manali or anywhere where it is the higher altitude then it is having the lower pressure so that's why mountains and hills are having the lower pressure time for the next slide so here are the many many important points which i am requesting you to write all these things and yes i want to remind you that the previous parts if you haven't check you can check the link is provided in the i button that will be also very helpful so coming to the point the first point is atmospheric pressure is also known as barometric pressure why because we know that the pressure is measured in an instrument called as barometer so from that word it is also known as atmospheric pressure is known as barometric pressure and it is the pressure within the atmosphere of the earth so atmosphere of the earth ke within mein jo pressure hai hum usko atmospheric pressure kahenge 
नेक्स्ट थिंग इज द स्टैंडर्ड एटमोस्फेयर सो स्टैंडर्ड एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर इज डिनोटेड एज ए टी एम सो दिस ए टी एम इज नॉट फ्रॉम हुएर वी आर गेटिंग द मनी दिस इज द सिम्बल और यूनिट ऑफ एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर एंड इट इज अट ऑफ प्रेशर डिफाइंड एज सो दिस थिंग यू शुड नोट डाउन द वैल्यूज दैट मीन्स वन ए टी एम दैट इज एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर दैट स्टैंडर्ड इज नोन एज वन जीरो वन थ्री टू फाइव पास्केल सो हियर वन मोर यूनिट केम दैट इज पास्केल सो पास्केल इज ऑल्सो द यूनिट ऑफ मेजरिंग द एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर विच इज इक्वेलेंट टू वन जीरो वन थ्री पॉइंट टू फाइव मिली बार सो यू कैन सी हियर दैट पास्केल एंड मिली बार आर ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट इफ यू डिवाइड इट बाय हंड्रेड वी विल गेट इट एज मिली बार नेक्स्ट इज द बार फ्रॉम मिली बार यू शुड नो दैट बार इज ऑल्सो द यूनिट ऑफ प्रेशर विच इज इक्वेलेंट टू सेवन सिक्सटी एम एम एच जी सो एम एम एच जी मीन्स वॉट इट इज मिली मीटर ऑफ मर्क्यूरी सो दिस थिंग विल नो वाई दिस मर्क्यूरी इज इंक्लूडेड वॉट इज दिस मिली मीटर इन द कमिंग स्लाइड्स बट यू शुड नो दिस स्टैंडर्ड एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर इज इक्वेलेंट टू सेवन सिक्सटी एंड द यूनिट इज एम एम एच जी दैट इज मिली मीटर ऑफ मर्क्यूरी इन द न्यूमेरिकल्स दिस वैल्यू इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सम टाइम इट विल बी नॉट गिवेन यू विल यूज दिस स्टैंडर्ड एटमोस्फेरिक वैल्यू दैट इज सेवन सिक्सटी मिली मीटर एच जी और इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द टॉर यूनिट सो सेवन सिक्सटी एम एम एच जी मिली मीटर ऑफ मर्क्यूरी इज इक्वल टू सेवन सिक्सटी टॉर दैट इज ऑल्सो द यूनिट और इन द पी एस आई पी एस आई मीन्स इट इज ऑल्सो द यूनिट ऑफ प्रेशर दैट इज पाउंड पर स्क्वायर इंच पी एस आई इज पाउंड पर स्क्वायर इंच दैट इज द स्टैंडर्ड एटमोस्फेरिक वैल्यू इज फोर्टीन पॉइंट सेवन जीरो दैट इज फोर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन क्लोज टू फोर्टीन पॉइंट सेवन जीरो this thing you should note down next coming to the mslp so mslp is what so mslp is the mean sea level atmospheric pressure on the earth that is earth atmospheric pressure at the sea level is approximately 1 atm so sea level if you are going to analyze the pressure of the earth atmosphere it is called as the mean sea level atmospheric pressure and it is also equal to 1 atm 1 atm is what we have already discussed these all the values 101325 pascal 760 mm hg or 14.7 Zero psi. These all are the value of mean sea level atmospheric pressure. Also, another thing you should note down is that wind moves from the higher pressure to lower pressure. This is important concept wise. Next point is large pressure gradient is equal to strong winds. So where there is large pressure gradient, we will experience strong winds. So these are small and short points, but these are the points which will come in exam. Let's move to the next slide. Now it's time for the mechanism. So atmospheric pressure का mechanism क्या है? How it is created? We should know this one also. Very important. This is the atmospheric pressure is caused by the gravitational attraction of the planet on the atmospheric gases above the surface and is a function of the mass of the planet. So so let us understand this statement. This is stating that atmospheric pressure is created. or caused by the gravitational attraction of the planet so our planet earth is having the gravitational attraction towards moon and we know that gravitational constant is 9.8 so that attraction with the atmospheric gases so there are plenty of gases present in our atmosphere carbon dioxide hydrogen gas oxygen so the attraction between the earth's gravitational attraction and the atmospheric gases is the process in which the atmospheric pressure is caused in our earth so that is the function and the mechanism and it is function of the mass of the planet so the mass of the planet is also playing a vital role in determining the atmospheric pressure of the planet because the earth's atmospheric pressure is not equivalent to the saturn's or mars any other planet because its mass is different so different mass of the planet different atmospheric pressure next thing is what other fun function is performing or having the role so the radius of the surface so earth's radius is also playing a vital role in performing the atmospheric pressure so in different places different atmospheric pressure will be there because it will be having different composition of the gas throughout the earth it is not same somewhere so the vertical distribution also plays an important role because vertically the gases are with different concentration in different places so what are the things which are playing the role for the atmospheric pressure cause they are the first is the gravitational attraction of the planet on the atmospheric gases above the surface and it is a function of mass of the planet 
radius of the surface, amount and composition of gases present and the particular distribution of the gases in the atmosphere. These all things plays the vital role and it is modified by the planetary rotation. So our planet rotates we know and different planets have different speed of rotation that is also modifying the atmospheric pressure of different planet and the local effects such as wind velocity density variation due to temperature and variation in composition also determines the local change in the pressure atmospheric pressure in different parts of the earth so this is also important note down time to move to the next slide here we are coming to the mercury thing yes mercury thing which we have discussed mmhg the si unit that is the millimeter of mercury so this we will know here in this slide so first of all we all know that barometer is used to determine the pressure of atmosphere so why this barometer is called as the mercury barometer because it is having the mercury that is the element with hg is having which indicates the height of a column of mercury that exactly balances the weight of the column of atmosphere over the barometer so let me simplify you this so as you can see here the mercury is present in the container and here a tube is inserted so it is kind of the test tube so the mercury will rise up as per the atmospheric pressure surrounding that place so the level of mercury determines the pressure present in that atmosphere so here you can see at this particular place the mercury is rising above the plate that is the container 760 millimeter rise is seen in the mercury in the glass tube so this glass tube suggests that the pressure is 760 mm at that particular place and similarly at different place if the mercury rises as different values then that will be the pressure of that place so i think you are able to understand let me recall again mercury is placed in this kind of the instrument where there is a glass tube and the rise in the mercury due to the atmospheric pressure tells what is the pressure of that place so this is why it is called as mercury barometer and the unit tells that millimeter of mercury rise that is mmhg now we will know one more kind of barometer which is called as aneroid barometer so we'll discuss in the next slide what is this aneroid barometer so it is slightly different from the barometer which is the mercury barometer so usually mercury barometer is having the liquid mercury similarly water is also used in some barometers and here an aneroid barometer is the instrument which is also used for the measuring air pressure but that does not involve any liquid so liquid is not seen in this instrument as seen in the case of mercury barometer or water barometer so it is having a metal alloy cell that is the cell present is an alloy of metal and spring mechanism with the help of spring mechanism there is the pressure determination so as you can see here it is spring like alloy made up of metals which is moving and according to it it will show what is the pressure of that area or of that place similarly one more important thing you should know one more instrument that is radio sound so radio sound is actually a small instrument package that is suspended below balloon filled with hydrogen or helium gas so you can see this is the balloon and this is the radio sound so radio sound is the instrument which is carried away through this balloon this balloon is having hydrogen or helium this is important note down and this radio sound this instrument is carried aloft that means this balloon takes away from the ground level to the upper atmospheric layer and then what it happens there this instrument measures the pressure temperature and relative humidity of that place so this is helpful the balloon is only the carrier but this instrument is having the power of collecting the data like pressure temperature and relative humidity so i hope this is too much of pressure in this video if i will extend this will be increasing your pressure level also so it's better to stop here if you like this don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel to get all further updates keep smiling and believe in yourself